Before starting the video, I would like to tell you something about ilpsguide.com. In their website, they provide a daily free question which help you to boost your preparation either for banking or SSC examination. Also, you can check out their test series which has high standard question with a detailed solution and at the end of the each test, we provide with a smart analysis that how well you performed, which are the area you must work on and also test series are available in both language that is Hindi as well as English. It is accessible on both desktop as well as mobile app whichever suits on you. For more information you can visit eStore.ipsguide.com. Now let's move towards our video. Hello everyone. Welcome to IBPS Guide. I am Kashish Gohal, your Reasoning Guides. And the highlight for today's session will be the solution of RRB Officer Assistant Mock Test 2 and it will be the part 2. Yesterday we have done the first 20 questions and today we are going to do the next 20 question of this mock test. That is mock test number 2. So before proceeding to other question, I would like to request you all please do subscribe to our channel and do like the video. And don't forget to visit eStore.ipsguide.com because from these video you can uh, actually you can calculate the relevant material we are providing in the test series. Okay. So you must first try the mock test. Okay. Then you can buy that is your choice but we are giving for sure the 100% we are giving the best mock test series that you can ever have. So now let's see the solution for our uh, next 20 questions. Yesterday we have done these 20 questions. Okay, that is from this 60 till 60 we have done. Now we are starting from 61 to 60, uh, 80. So first of all these questions are from 61 to 65. These are the three questions on this and these are the two questions next. So let's start from the question number 61. How many such numbers are there in the above arrangement? So first of all we have to find out the numbers each of which is immediately preceded by a symbol. That means before number it should be a symbol and immediately followed by a number and after it should be a number. So that no two numbers should be in consecutive okay one another should be two numbers. It is not possible, it is not possible, it is not possible, it is not, it is not, it is possible but up before it is it is not a symbol. So this can't be counted. After that there is no one, there is no actually a number which is immediately preceded by a symbol and immediately followed by a number. There is no such number. So our answer would be none. Clear? Now let's see the question number 2. Which of the following element is third to the left of the element which is ninth from the right end? So what I have told you if it is left and right then you have to add the numbers third and ninth. That will be equals to 12 and we have to find it from the right end. So from right end we have to go to the 12th. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. It will be the sign of power. That is option number A. Done. Now question number 63rd. Which of the following makes the first element is exactly between the second and third? So now we have to find out in these. Like if it is DCU, we have to find out which will make the first element. That is D should be between C and U. Exactly between. Okay. So here it is D. So C is here and U is here. But D is not exactly between C and U because there are two elements here and three elements here. So it is not our answer. Now sign we have this that is we need this one in between J and M. J and M no because there is one person between this and this but there is no person between this and this. So this can't be our answer. Hash Y P. So we need hash between Y and P. So Y is here and P is here. So between hash and Y there is only one but hash and P there are two. So this can't be our answer. Now one E P. One is here. Leaving one there is P, leaving one there is E. So it is our pair that first is in between second and third. So this will be our answer. Done. Now let's move to other 64th and 65 question. If all the numbers are removed from the above arrangement, so we have to remove all the numbers, then which of the following pair is pair are exactly in the middle? Now first of all we have to remove the number, then we have find the pair which are exactly in the middle. So first of all let's see how many number will remain if you remove the numbers. How many elements remains? So one, two. 3, okay, numbers are removed, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, then 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So we have total exact 20 element if you remove the number. So we even need to find out in between, the exact pair between. So we have to, 9 and 9 we have to leave. So in between there should be 2 elements. So we have to find that pair. So just leave the 9 one. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. So what will be our answer? Our answer should be A and S. Our answer should be A and 
एस जस्ट लीव द नाइन एलिमेंट वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट एंड नाइन सो अवर आंसर विल बी ए एंड एस दैट विल बी ऑप्शन नंबर बी क्लियर नाउ सिक्सटी फिफ्थ फोर ऑफ द फाइव अमंग द फॉलोइंग आर सिमिलर इन सच अ वे टू फॉर्म अ ग्रुप विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग डज नॉट बिलोंग्स टू डेट ग्रुप नाउ सी एच वन एट एच वन एट आफ्टर टू एलिमेंट लिविंग टू द राइट इट इज वन एंड बिफोर एच इट इज शुड बी एट दैट थर्ड एलिमेंट इज इमीडिएटली लेफ्ट ऑफ एच ओके दैट इज फर्स्ट एलिमेंट सो पी ओके दिस इज पी दिस इज फोर एंड दिस इज थ्री सो अवर आंसर विल बी फ्रॉम फर्स्ट और सेकेंड बाय बिकॉज इन दिस केस after if you say between h and 1 there are two parts two elements but when p and 4 there is only one element so our answer could be only from these one because both are different so hash hash 9 4 so between hash and 9 there are two so what will be our answer our answer will be p 4 and 3 because between p and 4 there is only one element so our answer will be option number 2 now let's see next set of question so here the question uh that is basically based on state uh, syllogism so now let's see the statement we have no phone is pen okay so first of all we have no phone is pen after that no pen is pipe no pen is pipe and some pen are light so some pen are light done so first conclusion some light are pipe some light are pipe between light and pipe we don't have a de definite relation so you can't say anything about them some light are phone again some light and phone again we don't know the relationship between light and phone so again we don't know the relationship between them so both are wrong that is neither conclusion first nor second follow now 68 some chocolates are dairy milk so some chocolates are dairy milk all munch are kit kat so munch is not there right now so all kit kat are dairy dairy milk so all sorry this will not be the diagram wait a minute i am just removing everything so now let's see again some chocolates are dairy milk so first of all some chocolates are dairy milk all munch are kit kat right now we don't have much and kit kat we use we use related now all kit kat are dairy milk now all kit kat should be the part of dairy milk so there you have kit kat clear and all munch are kit kat so munch will come inside kit kat so just i am making a small diagram that is a munch clear now let's see the first conclusion some munch being chocolate is a possibility some munch being chocolate yes because between munch and chocolate there is no direct relationship but they are asking about possibility so it will be true because because there is a possibility that some munch can be chocolate clear now second some dairy milk is munch some dairy milk is munch yes because all munch is in kit kat and all kit kat are dairy milk so some part of dairy milk must come in the munch so this is also true so both conclusion follow 67th all hills are mountain okay so first of all all hills are mountain no fall falls are hills okay and all falls are river so all falls are river the first conclusion some hills are not river some hills are not river but this you can't say about this because we have no hills is falls but all falls are in river so you can say some part of river is in the falls can't be the part of hill that is true but when you are going from hill to river you can't find out the perfect relationship so this is wrong some mountain are falls uh, is a possibility some mountain are falls is a possibility yes because you can say some part of mountain is not not fall but you can have some mountain which can be the part of fall because all this this one this part we don't know the relationship of this part with the fall so this part can be the part of fall so this is true only second fall that is option number b clear now let's see the next questions 69 to 70 uh, that will be same again syllogism now no water is solid no water is solid all water are gas so all water are gas and all grease are gas so all grease are gas so this is gas and we need all grease in the gas so grease will come here done now first some gas are not grease some gas are not grease but it can be or can not be okay because we have all grease in the gas so some part of gas must be in the grease but remaining can be and can not be but this is asking definite so it will be wrong some gas are not solid some gas are not solid again we don't know about them so none follow 
neither conclusion that is first and second follow clear now 70th some blue are black some blue are black some black are red some black are red no black is white so no black is white done so conclusion number 1 some white are blue some white are blue so it can be and cannot be because we can't have a perfect relationship between white and blue so it can be and cannot be so this is wrong next is no white is blue again same thing we don't know the perfect relationship but in these conclusion they are following up the condition for either or why because one is positive one is negative elements are same and both are wrong with the doubt because we don't know the relationship between blue and white so we don't have a perfect relationship between them we can't say anything about them so it will be in the doubt so all these condition will follow up in the either or case so this will be our answer just keep it in mind that what will be the condition for either or where you can apply either or just keep it in mind i am telling you first condition the that both conclusion should be wrong with the doubt because we if you don't know about them then it can be either or but if you are definite about something you can't apply the either or second element should be same element should be same and third one one conclusion should be positive and one should be negative that is in one it should be all or some in other it should be no or some not but keep in mind one exception that between all and no you can't apply either or i okay in all or you cannot apply either or and somewhere you can see that somebody is applying all and no you are applying either or but exam point of view if i am telling you about exam point of view then you don't have to apply either or in all no clear now let's see the next set of question so 71 to 75 so seven boxes m n o p q r s are placed in seven different shelves one above another such a way that the bottom most shelf is number 1 and above it is number 2 and so more till the top most so it will be like this 7 6 5 4 3 2 and 1 like this each box in different color okay so note more than two boxes are placed above r which is black in color so first of all r is in black color and there are not more than two boxes so it could be only one it could be only two or it could be none so there are three possibility for r so i am right now i am not making just i am writing down the possible condition that it could be on the fifth position it could be on the sixth or could be on the seventh clear done now the q is placed at the third shelf so q must come on the third shelf done then four boxes are placed between s and m which is in blue color so there are four two three four between s and m and m should be in the black color not sorry not the black it is blue done again we don't know the position of them now the box m is placed in odd number shelf below r so what we have that m should be on the odd number so odd number are 1 3 5 or 7 but you can play uh, suppose you can't play on the third that is for sure now can you place m on the fifth shelf no because if you place m on the fifth shelf you can't place s anywhere because we need between m and s we need four so 1 2 3 4 there is no possibility so the condition for m m can be either on the seventh but m can't be on the seventh because m is somewhere below r so this is also not possible so the only possibility for m is on the first so m likes blue now between m and s there are four 1 2 3 4 so s will come here done yes or no so for r sixth floor is already gone so the possibility is fifth or seventh we will see it later now the orange box is placed just above blue color so orange is just above blue so orange will come on the second now the box o is in the red color and placed above the box s so o is in the red and placed above s so o will come here with the red color now for the r seventh is already gone so now we have left with only five so r will come here with the black color done next the number of boxes placed above the white so number of boxes placed above the white is one less than number of box placed below the brown so the box is below brown and minus 1 done the box n is placed above the box p so n should be above p so it will be like this and the brown colored box does not placed immediately above the black so brown can't be here so the possibility for brown is either on the fourth or either on the third but see if you place brown on the third okay brown on the fourth sorry if you put brown on the fourth just i am making a possibility here so below brown there are three so above white it should be minus 1 below brown so it should be 2 above white but 
above two white if we need then it should be on the place of black but there is already black so brown can't be here so the only possibility that brown should be here now below brown there are two so above white there should be one so white will come here and if white is here the only color we have left that is pink so pink will come here so this is our final formation done now let's see the question regarding this which of the following box is placed in shelf number two so on the shelf number two it is p that is option number d the color of box n the color of box n is pink so it will be pink which of the following box is placed in the seven shelf and what is the color so on the seven it is o and it is red color that is option number c which of the following statement is or are true the box n is in the pink color n is in the pink color yes this is true the white color box is placed above the red color so white is above red no because white is below red the box p is placed just below the m so p is just below m no because p is just above m so our answer will be only first 75 four of the following five are like a some certain way we have to just find the odd one out so we have o we have r we have s we have q we have m so m q r and o are on the odd number shell but s on the even number so this will be our answer clear now let's see the next set of question okay so that is basically based on coding decoding and as soon as you have seen this you will be thinking about it should be a new pattern coding decoding you will be uh, coming in your mind that it should be a new pattern coding but see there is, there is no new pattern coding it is basically given in such a way that you think about that it is a new pattern coding because see see there you have subsidy there you have subsidy okay so there is any code common yes this is code common here okay this is the code common here so basically there is nothing like new coding it is basically the old that is chinese coding but written in uh, just a way that you will think that it is a new coding but let's see the question we have to find out the code for argued so argued is used where here anywhere argued used not so we have to find the code which is only in the second sentence there is nowhere uh, code in any of the line so h h hash 7 h hash 7 is used somewhere no so it could be our answer now a percentage is no s star 9 no g at the rate 9 g at the sorry g at the rate 8 no it can't be our answer so the answer for argued will be h hash 7 done so this will be our answer Some, okay getting my point or not so this is basically the old pattern coding now which of the following is the code for united so we have to code for the united so where is united used first of all here none where else it is used so code will be only in this in this sentence so d ha, d power 10 no g at the rate 8 note x dollar 9 x dollar 9 is used somewhere no it could be our answer now c percentage 9 c percentage 9 no it is not also used anywhere so our answer could be x percentage 9 sorry x dollar 9 or c percentage 9 so both can be our answer so either a or b done now 78th question which of the following is the code for promised so where is promised used promised in the this sentence and in also in the this sentence second and fourth so the code is common in second and fourth so h has 7 no a percentage 10 no s star 9 yes it could be our answer g at the rate 8 no it can't be our answer so answer would be s percent s star 9 that is option number c done now let's see question number 79 and 80 which of the following is the code for class so class is used where only in the first sentence so code will be only in the first sentence so k at the rate 8 k at the rate 8 yes it could be our answer b at the rate 9 b at the rate 9 no it can't be our answer c hash 10 c c hash 10 yes it can it can be our answer now a percentage 10 a percentage yes this is also can't be our answer so the answer could be 2 that is k at the rate or c hash 10 so we don't have any option which are saying that either this one so our answer we cannot determine we can't find out the answer of this question now the last question is subsidy where is subsidy used subsidy is only used in first and second so the code is common in first and second k at the rate 8 no this can't be an answer and this can't be an answer this is for sure because these are the individual codes now b at the rate 9 no it can't be an answer because it is not common in both a percentage 10 yes it could be it it will be our answer because a percentage 10 is common in both the sentences so our answer will be a percentage 10 clear 10 so this is all what we have in the rrb officer assistant mock test 2 it we have covered all the 40 question of reasoning section and if you really find it helpful do like the video and do share it with your friends and don't forget to visit e guide.com for the quality mock test series and don't forget to subscribe to our 
चैनल थैंक यू सो मच कीप वॉचिंग एंड कीप लर्निंग